Hey guys, I'm super excited today because we're diving into some makeup glam. Today I want to push myself to do something very different. Also, if this is your first time here, my name is Dodos and I'm a beauty and lifestyle creator. Please smash the subscribe button down below and let's get into it. First things first, we're going to go straight into skin prep. I've already prepped my skin and I have a video on my channel already about creating that flawless base. Today I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I love this product so much. And I already have sunscreen on my skin. I'm just gonna massage that into my skin. Please excuse the noise. It's so noisy in Lagos. And you guys know that skin prep is super important for your makeup to last from day to night. So you don't sleep on it. I usually do my eyebrows first and I know you guys are asking about my brow tutorial. I'm gonna do a very detailed brow tutorial soon but I'm just basically taking off the oil from my brows using a powder. I did my eyebrows off camera. I am jumping into my base, which is basically foundation, starting off doing the underpainting technique using the brightest shade of concealer. And this is the Hourglass Concealer. I'm obsessed with this product. This is the shade Teak. I just put that in the inner corner and now I'm moving to the House Labs Concealer. This is in the shade medium deep golden and this is more closer to my skin tone i'm going to layer that next to the brighter shade of concealer like so and then i'm going into the rare beauty blush this is the shade grateful so i'm going to give it a shot and i'll just put a tiny bit right here i know it's scary at first and yeah it just looks like something can go wrong but trust me just be patient going in with the denessa marix blush in the shade primary red this has become my favorite blush while i'm letting that sit i'm now going to do my contouring and my bronzer this is the fenty beauty match stick in the shade espresso i am obsessed with it and i'm just basically creating some definition and adding more structure to my face like so i already showed you guys how i do my flawless base so this video is not really about that next thing i'm gonna start blending this brush i've been loving it so much this is the real technique brightening concealer brush i'm gonna start blending the brighter shade of the concealer slowly move to the other shade and then do not blend the blush just yet I'll go in again on the other side, blend, 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 and make sure to pull it to the sides of your nose. I'm just putting the excess here. And now I'm going to slowly start blending the blush, starting from the lighter shade of blush into the darker shade. And like I said, I know it is scary, but it's gonna come out looking well, trust me. Just be patient and trust the process. <laughs> you should have something that looks scary just like this if you look scary you are on the right track <laughs> now i'm going in with this brush from charlotte tilbury to blend out my contour again because we are doing the underpainting technique everything will be fine like everything will literally just hide under that technique so fear not okay we should have something that looks like this blend the sides of the nose it's so interesting to see how makeup has evolved for me like i may or may not contour my nose i just like the other things that i feel like are more important on my face i would like to highlight so yeah so we should have something that looks like this i am also still blending using this charlotte tilbury brush next is foundation my favorite part this is a papa Grath sublime fetish foundation i'm gonna use just two pumps and this feels like it actually feels like skin and the coverage is amazing i use it with a fluffy brush and i'm just gonna lightly tap that in can you guys see how that blended seamlessly and is bringing everything together especially the underpainting and the blush does not look as crazy it looks like i have nothing on yes it's still covering all my scenes like i love this i'm just gonna go in with one extra pump making it three pumps 
one thing i would say is definitely to invest in good products i feel like you most likely want your makeup to last all day so investing in good products that would help achieve that longevity is key now i'm going with a beauty sponge take up that excess product from the back of my hands and just evenly push that into the skin i just put a bit of that concealer under my hands and the reason why I'm doing that is because I never like to go in with a clean beauty blender directly under my eyes because it could move your product. So I just want to make sure that it's coated with some kind of product. And then I'm going to blend this thoroughly. Okay, so now that the base is basing, we're going to set our makeup starting with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Translucent Deep. And I'm going in with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna look up and slowly start pressing that under my eyes oh it looks flawless and you can see that it does not look as scary anymore so yeah the process is coming together now I'm going in with my triangle sponge and the same powder in translucent deep setting your makeup is super important I showed you guys in how to achieve the flawless base how important it is to set your makeup in the right way for longevity especially you need to be on your a game starting with your makeup I'm just taking my time I'm being very patient in placing the products just right where I need it to be. I'm going to do a tiny bit of reverse contour here for some definition under my cheekbones. I like that. Oh, this is snatched. Now, moving on to my eyes, I am going to do something super exciting. I'm using the Pomograph Gel Liner, Velvet Gel Liner. And I'm just gonna apply this on my lid and slowly I'm working my way up. Ooh, that looks so nice. Slowly working my way up. I'm going in with another brush that's a bit more fluffy and just blending that out. Any hash lines, taking off any hash lines. Oh, this is definitely going to bang. So we have that and you can see the difference already, crazy. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the other eye. Okay, so now that we have something that looks sane like this, we're gonna to go to the exciting part. Then going in with a brown shadow from the Bondi Sway eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much. This is the natural nude palette and I'm going in with this MAC brush. The shade I'm using is called Truffle. I'm just going into my crease, blending out any hash lines like this. And for the icing on the cake, we're gonna use some glitter, which is very unlike me, or some pigment. I've had this for at least <laughs> eight years. I don't know where I got this from at this point, but it's like a nice iridescent, purpley, green type pigment this is what it looks like can you see that i'm going to use my fingers because the makeup artist in me just knows that that's going to bang even more and that oh that looks so good so let me just pop that on my lid right now oh this is gorgeous oh my god i am obsessed i feel like the black base just makes it pop even more it is stunning wow okay come through i'm gonna apply the same thing on this lid oh the vibrancy of this shade i hate the fact that i don't know where it is from so i can't link it properly for you guys but this is amazing i know that inglot has pigments i mean inglots are literally the goats of pigments so they should most likely have something that looks like this. Now we're going in with some gel liner. This is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Gel Liner. It gives the most perfect strokes, literally. I'm going to just gently create some kind of a wing liner, but nothing too dramatic. So something like that. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. I love how this eyeliner literally glides on. Yes, so now that we have that, we are going in with eyelashes and I wanna do a very fun eyeliner. So let's put the glue on the lashes and then we're gonna do the eyeliner. I'm going to quickly add some mascara. This is the YSL 
beauty mascara and i'm just gonna be generous about coating my lashes i'm gonna dust off my under eye using the one size pink powder and i'm going in with the hourglass eyeliner in the shade forest it's a nice green shade i'm going to use that to line my waterline i'm going to go in with my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade dark deep i'm just going to use that to blend the overall look after which i'm going in with the mocha mami fenty beauty mocha mami as my bronzer I'm just going to place that on the areas where I'm trying to add more warmth back to my face. My eyelashes are done. It's starting to look pretty festive on my eyes. I'm going in with a brown eyeshadow just to smudge my under eyes for a nice diffused look. And I'm going in with some mascara in my lower lash line. I'm using the Sephora Molasses Pencil now i'm going in with this blush from mohini beauty in the shade got me blushing and i'm going to be very generous with it because we want to be blushing we're going to bring a bit of glow to my face and i'm going to be using the refi topaz or topaz highlighter i'll take a tiny bit on my at the back of my hands and then i'll just spread that like this and then i will go in with my makeup sponge to pick that product up and gently just press that at the highest point like that something light because i'm not really going for a full dewy look i'm gonna finish off my eye adding a bit of shimmer to my inner tear duct right here just to open up my eyes a bit oh i think that is super pretty i am going in with this lip palette starting with this shade which is kind of like a nice orangey ish shade I'm gonna apply that around here I'm gonna go in the inner corner with this and it's like a nice mauve nude shade and now I'm gonna spray my face using the Charlotte Tilbury flawless setting spray I just realized that I didn't finish off with lip gloss. I'm using the Fenty Hologram Lip Gloss. It's a nice iridescent shade. Just gonna apply. Oh my goodness. Wow. And that is the finished look. How are we doing? How are we feeling it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then smash that notification bell so that you'll be updated for my upcoming videos. And leave a comment below if you try out this look at home. I'm feeling myself. I'm about to head out. Thank you for watching.